In order to prepare the risk analytics dashboard for the review of the chief executive officer of the bank or financial institution or for the review of board risk management committee, the chief risk officers and the risk management team need to focus on the risk centric value proposition RCVP relevant to the institution. And for this purpose, uh, they need to know the risk generating parameters, RGPs, uh, both the entity wide and the departmental or process wise. And they need to uh, link or map the risk generating parameters or RGPs with the risk analytics horizons. So chief risk officers and risk managers uh, are required to focus on the risk centric value proposition because ultimately they are required to develop the uh, risk uh, analytics dashboard for the CEO of the bank or financial institution and for the review of the uh, board risk management committee. When we talk about uh, the advanced countries like US and Canada and Australia, the uh, risk managers uh, use uh, the systems and tools to develop the uh, risk analytics, but uh, on the back of uh, the system, they uh, are required to work on the RGPs and, uh, and the linking of the RGPs with the risk analytics horizons. So RCBP requires uh, the understanding and identification of the institution wide RGPs and linking of those RGPs with the risk analytics horizons. So uh, what uh, are RGPs uh, for an institution? They may vary from institution to institution and there are various factors involved in the identification process uh, for the RGPs. But broadly, uh, when we uh, see the financial institutions working uh, in today's economy, we know that they are broadly divided into uh, some important parameters like the digital parameters. Then we have the regulatory parameters, financial parameters and customer oriented or business oriented parameters and then the internal environment of the organization or the management or internal parameters. So RGPs uh, are broadly categorized into uh, these five or you can uh, further add depending on your institution's requirement. Uh, so the RGPs uh, are required to be broadly identified and defined um, before uh, mapping with the risk horizons. So uh, when we uh, talk about the risk generating parameters, here is a one slide overview of the possible uh, RGPs uh, further bifurcations like uh, the digitalization or the need and use of technology in the institution. Risk managers and CROs are required to identify the level and the need of uh, using their technology or core application. Further. Uh, they need to keep an eye on the increased regulatory requirements and the expectations of the regulators. They need to know uh, the compliance status of key regulations which impact the business and operations and for this they uh, are required to collaborate with the compliance team of the institution. Increased competition uh, also impacts uh, the organization and this is also a risk generating uh, parameter uh, for the institution therefore the competition must be considered uh, and the market trend or analysis must be performed by the CROs in order to better understand uh, the risk generating uh, from the increased competition in the market. The level of product development and innovation going on in the institution and then we have the customers feedback on social media. Social media uh, must be checked and monitored by the institution through a dedicated unit or a separate department but uh, the risk managers or risk management team uh, should uh, know uh, about what's going on the social channels of the institution what are the feedbacks of the customers and uh, what uh, they want from the institution in terms of uh, product pricing product quality or product other factors then negative media checks are also performed uh, in order to see whether there is any negative media uh, news uh, which may impact the, on the reputation of the institution. Then we have the use and uh, reliance uh, on the service providers or outsourcing arrangements. These uh, factors also uh, generate the risk for the organization. 
The mismanagement of uh, the big data is uh, also one of the areas uh, that generate risk for the organization. Then we have uh, data classification and trends. When the organization uh, has not properly classified the data, especially the customers related data, then uh, this uh, becomes a huge or significant factor which generates a risk for the institution and those risks might be related to uh, the financial side or the regulatory non-compliance side the level of cross-border transactions and multiple delivery channels use uh, they are also considered in rgps and finally or you can say uh, one of the very important areas is the financial crime risks and incidents uh, either occurred or uh, the possible uh, financial crime risk uh, which must be analyzed and assessed by the chief risk officer and the risk managers. And when we talk about the financial crime risk, uh, we mean the frauds, uh, either internal or external, cyber attacks, bribery and corruption cases or incidents, money laundering and terrorist financing incidents occurred or uh, reported, insider trading, unauthorized data access and manipulation or